how to use the, uh, the band. So generally I just start off with it without, just about shoulder width apart, straight out in front of me, kick the band nice and tight, I'm going to pull it back, and at the end we're going to rotate the wrists out. Back in, keeping the tension on the band, pull back, rotate the wrists out. Just to give you a demonstration from the back as well. about four sets of those, about 15 to 20 reps to start warming up. Mixed with a few other things that we're going to show you today as well. So now what one that we do, that we agree on doing when we are training chips, we use the stick. So we do something that is called dislocator. And that's because when you're going back, all the way back, or like a halfway, you are going to feel like an uncomfortable like, movement there. So that's what is called dislocator. But that's going to help you to get some mobility to the shoulders. Because a lot of people don't know is that when we do this, we are going to be using a lot of the shoulders. But we are going to try to focus more on the chest. And a lot of people use a lot of the shoulders. So when you isolate the chest a little bit more, you will be feeling more the pump and the fibers in the chest instead of the shoulders. And then you are be avoiding to get hurt. exercises with the dumbbell, one is like a, it's kind of like a shoulder press, but the difference is like my elbow is going to go in and my shoulder is going to be forced to go back, because they work in different angles. If I send my elbow back, my shoulder goes forward. But when I train in chest, I need, I need to try to keep my shoulder back. So with this one, I'm going to teach my shoulder how to stay back when I'm doing any chest exercise. So what I do is elbow here, when I go down, and then I go the, all the way shoulder press, and then I go down, keeping the elbow forward, shoulder back. So even in the first rep, you're going to feel a pain here in your rear leg, but that's what you should be feeling when you're training chest. One more that I do is um, I used to have like a pinch here on my shoulder. So what I do is like a rotator. So what I do is all the way up. So gravity goes down. So with my rear leg, I'm going to force the dumbbell to go up. It's going to be the opposite. Yeah. So I'm going to do here to warm up my rear leg. What I do when I do chest, I do 100 flies. So what we do is two sets of 45, so it will be 15 lower, 15 middle, and then 15 higher. So, so I'm going to do two sets of that. And then at the end I do one, uh, 10 push-ups, so at the end it's 100 reps. So guys, I'm going to start off with uh, one of my favourites, flat bench, best way to start at any sort of session is the compound movement, hit all, you know, multiple joints all at once, finish off with isolation, so I'm going to start with the bench today. Now, um, what I generally like to start with it, is get on the bench, and then we want to make sure when we sit down and step with nice and tight and pull back, so that's what we set first. We come back here, pull the shoulder blades together, and track them nice and tight, tuck my legs around the knee of my body, I'm going to my feet and try to drive my heels into the ground. I'm ready to start the down my grip so I can the brain. I'm going to start with the bar. 
keeping the shoulder by contracting the back. Either lift it up. Okay, so now we just finished the compound, so we did four sets of that, so we did it by itself. Because the compound is better just to keep it that way. Then we, we come to the inside, but this is a functional machine, so it will be a little bit easier than the free barber. And then we are going to go to the decline as a super set. So here we are going to do upper, and then we are going to do lower chest. And then in the second one, we are going to do more upper, because this one is the hardest part of the chest to get. So the training is going to be focused more on this part, yeah? So we're doing 10, no, we're going to do 12 rest here and then 10 there, yeah? So you can see that, I tried to squeeze my back and I went down and then all the way I squeeze my chest. So we do the same here. squeeze and just tug at the top of the chest. As we said earlier in the video, one of the hardest muscles to get, so hit that a little bit more in a session and we'll get the uh, results later down the track. So we are going to do the spinal muscles. So we are going to do biceps and real delts. This one is very important to train because you want to fix your posture. So the shoulder have to be back. So this one will help you to pull this part back. So you will help you to fix everything from the front to the back. And what I'm training biceps and rear with chest. Because usually when you do chest, you use your triceps and your front and uh, tight shoulder. So when I do biceps and rears, I'm not going to be using those muscles that I'm using for chest. So I'm going to, I'm going to be feeling stronger when I do chest. So that's why I change my split. We go S bar curve, we do 12, and then we jump to face full 15 reps. 